Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities in Miniature. Today we're going to take a look at a plastic kit that I got from my brother and it has been some time, and now is the time, to finally put this sucker together. Um, this is a Rihio Multi-Abyss V-Link Mecha. This is the first one in the set, the Striker and Logistics set. Now this is actually a Chinese kit, and I believe Rihio here is the company. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I know if you go online and search for Rihio, that's how you'll find them. And as far as I know, this is a completely unique kit. So you can see here, it is quite flexible in terms of what you can do with it. All this stuff, as far as I know, is plausible and buildable with what you get in the kit. Here you can see a good indication of all the fun stuff included. Now, I have not seen these yet, but they're supposed to have a bunch of alien monster diorama things so what is in this and again this is the first one and i know there's more because i own more i just never got around to it all right some old school looking artwork there all right so i'm never a big fan of tubing but it is what it is okay well i gotta say at least this looks pretty straightforward in terms of how to build it nothing on the back side okay so instruction sheet is single-sided let's take a look here so it looks like we have five frames and a bunch of other little bits laying around some detailed parts it looks like oil cans or something the weapons and then a pilot as well I don't see the pilot parts anywhere. I don't know where that is. Okay. Here's the pilot. So we're going to do the pilot. And then it looks like, at the very least, I guess we're going to build two of these. This looks like the body joints. At least the torso and everything. We already saw the legs in arms and then we're going to build it in two different modes i guess ah the s is for striker and then the l is for logistics and they do have a power down mode which is kind of cool looking too and then we have i'm guessing these are the accessories i don't know what's going on there and then we have using optional bits and then they have some examples of all the other craziness that you can build we have a little teaser here for set two, which is the Defender and Construction set, which I think I already own. And yeah, so Reheal is the company that makes these. There's a website right there. I have no idea if it's actually active or not. I have not looked at it ever. What year was this copyrighted? 2018. Okay, well, it's not too far back in time. Okay, so here are all those extra bits. Huh, and they're all pre-painted. It's interesting. This is hard ABS plastic, so if you're worried about that, don't be. Roll cage. I have no idea. That's painted on at least. A little white spot there. Hmm. Well, I gotta give them credit for having pre painted parts. I'm guessing this was where the pilot was. Or so okay we'll, we'll find all his bits hopefully because i only see the legs and half of the torso i don't know we'll figure it all out knife okay so that's all those bits there ah yuck i gotta cut the tubing myself fine always wash those i learned that Give them a good scrubbing. Whoa, okay, something just went flying away. A screw or a plug of some sort. I have no idea where that came from. That's not good. Better hold on to that. Okay, those look like the pilot arms. This doesn't look that complex. No polycaps, so if you are a fan of polycaps, be aware, there are none there. That's not too bad. 
I don't know why I put this off for so long. <laughs> this isn't that bad. Okay, we know what the part is at least, and there's two of those. I think this is to build the torsos. You have enough to build both, maybe? I don't know, but I'm about to find out. So give me a sec. I'm going to get this thing as built up as I can, and we'll give you a good look-see. And hopefully, I'm thinking that this looks like it's going to be pretty gameable size when all is said and done. So sit tight, let me go get that thing all put together. All right, we've got our Mac. Well, hopefully he's on the screen there. All put together, and I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed. Now, looking at it right now, it's not a whole lot to look at, I admit that. But just wait a sec, because there's just a whole lot of stuff going on here with this guy. Now, first of all, there is, I built the, what is this, the striker? This is the striker mode. So the logistic has an open cockpit, which I just didn't want to build. And it does have a little one, I think he's 170 second scale. Maybe not. That looks kind of big for 170 second scale. But there is a pilot figure that goes inside there. He can't move really. And then I didn't want to take apart the whole torso. But the torso itself is on a ball joint. Just about everything is posable on it. Funny enough, it fits wonderfully on a 60 millimeter base. So if you wanted to use it for a dreadnought or something, tag is about the closest thing to a dreadnought I have handy. Just to give you guys a good size indication. I don't know why I have an orc there. <laughs> but yeah. So let's talk about the cool little details on this guy. Okay, so the first thing is it is totally, and I mean totally modular. There is absolutely no reason you have to keep it in this form. Um, there's all kinds of little hard points on this guy that you can attach and reattach. Uh, so like where the hands are attached to the arm. This is actually adjustable. You can put it at all three different points there. But let's talk about all the fun things that he comes with. I forget how to set it. There's like a way to set it in, you know, standby mode, but I'm not going to mess with that. I'll let you guys figure those things out. I know it includes using this bit right here. Here is the roll cage for the logistics mode. You want to turn it into a forklift or something. Um, there's the pipes for the various gun attachments. Rifle for it. Uh, fuel canister for the pipes here. Uh, gauntleted rocket launcher things. You can use the longer legs that are included for the logistics version. You can, you know, attach them basically where any of the other joints go. So, I thought there were more. I'm not going to bother taking the feet off, but you could do something with it, I'm sure. Um, let's see here. Knife is included. Another of these gauntlet things. Extra contact points, so if you wanted to hypothetically, like I said, put those second legs on. Or another pair of arms or something. You could do it right here. I'm going to jam it in, but I don't want to do that. Oh, let's see. But there's still a ton of pieces you can play around with. There's thruster engines, extra cannons, ammo boxes, another side joint, rivet gun looking thingy. And you could take most of these and turn them into bigger weapons as well. Um... Another smaller gun. Oh, and then there's these cool things here. What looks to be like a missile launcher rack. This goes on the back like that. It's also a little stepping staircase. Pistol thingies. Extra joints, extra parts. And I'm still not finding the ones out oh, here's like the for deploying it in cannon mode. You got a set of these extra support legs. I wanna say the cannons, if I take this off. That's where they go. So you could have them launching it in cannon mode there. 
That is the sound of all the extra parts that I still haven't even gotten to yet. More ammo things. More launcher things. I mean, and I gotta say, the quality of the plastic is really nice. Um, I was quite surprised. I, I know it's kind of bad of me to think, oh, well, it's, you know, some Chinese off-brand. It's not gonna be... No, no, no. Anything but. It's, it's really good quality stuff here. I had no issues building it. As you can see, the joints are quite nice. Uh, this is a really cool thing. It's got like all these little eye attachments or head attachments here. So you can make all sorts of variations. The welding mask one. Mono eye. I like the scope dog one, but that's just me. Camera lens, perhaps. I don't know. Whatever you want it to be. Um, you know, it kind of also gives me a little bit of an SF3D vibe. But just the sheer amount of goodies with it. I mean, you can come up with your own craziness with really no issues. And again, size-wise, I mean, honestly, if you really wanted to, use it as some kind of, you know, laboring mech in a 15 millimeter game or... Grabbing a 15 millimeter model. I think it would work really great. You get it all, you know, glued into a nice pose. Perfect size. You want to go dreadnought style. You know, totally could. Of course, it doesn't want to hold the gun when I need it to. Counts as grenade launcher or something? I don't know. Just a fun little kit. Something very different that otherwise, if it wasn't for my brother, <laughs> would have totally escaped my radar. And now he's got me searching eBay and Amazon and all sorts of places for funky, you know, mainland Chinese little boutique robot toys. And there actually are quite a few. There's some cool stuff out there. So hopefully we will do some more obscurities in Plomo type stuff because. I am going to have to dig out the other kit I have of these guys. And the fun thing is, they're really very, very modular. And, I mean, if you like stuff like Hexagear, um, kind of similar to that. If you like, oh, I know Volks has their block kits. Or even like the old Zoids V-blocks or something. There was like the Asobok or something that we had before. Uh, God, I don't even remember who published those. Anyway, there's just a lot you could do with this thing, and I mean, honestly, the more kits you have, the more you're going to be able to build with. I think there's a lot of fun to be had there, and they're pretty reasonably priced, too. So, I know, like, on the instruction document, which actually was pretty handy, um, they have a bunch of different variations, and I mean, I could see how they built these. Some of these are built out of more than one, so, I mean, if you wanted to get a couple... I still have yet to come across their aliens, um, but I know that the Defender construction set is available, and hopefully I will do that in the near future, and I know there's a third one as well. Fun little kit. Um, if I can find an official website, I will put it down there. If you guys have come across one, let me know. Um, otherwise, I'd say your best bet is to start searching for Rihio robot models and see what you come up with. So... Good luck. With that said, this is High Lord Tamberling with Obscurities and Miniatures saying thanks for watching. We'll see you back here soon. Bye bye.